Hello everybody, and welcome to this video. Oh, so anyway, what we're doing today is right now I am going to ship a large amount of packages for orders. So all you guys will get your orders. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I was gonna go do all this stuff in the post office, but then I was like, oh shit. I should stay here and not put my coin in the car or in the meter yet. Because I had to run out because the street sweeper came. And I thought he was coming today, but I was not 100%. I was like, hmm, maybe. All right. Um, we are in front of the Bullock building on Wilshire, right where it says Southwestern Law School. Kind of a mess right now because I, ew, it smells like burning rubber. Um, I was trying to get all my shit taken care of, and I put a quarter in the meter, and that only gives me 15 minutes, and so here we are, slowly walking towards the post office, because I had to block, park a few blocks away. But yeah, so I got a ton of packages, so I'm super stoked. Yeah, it'll be cool. Oh, hello, me. How you doing? Hey, fun stuff. Okay, bye. Damn, that was fucking expensive, dude. Oh, <sighs> that was fucking sixty bucks to ship that stuff. Fucking crazy. I'm feeling a bit of relief coming over me that I'm not going to be in the direct shipping game anymore. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, and for the most part, like most people pay for their shipping. I love this building. It's gorgeous. But yeah, so most people pay for their shipping, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people... Um, just fucking and it's not their fault like we don't know how much something's going to cost when they buy a bunch of stuff and if they live super fucking far away like in another country we don't know uh, that was a super expensive trip to the fucking post office unfucking believable so, it's all good. So, on a side note, for those of you interested, uh, Tagalog practicing. I haven't, like, figured it all out yet. But I'm getting really fucking close as far as the, um, pronunciations. No ticket. <sighs> No ticket, bitches! That's what I'm talking about. Because that definitely took longer than 20 minutes. I don't know why this is like this, but when you have um, overseas packages, at least at this post office, anytime you have to fill out a customs form, when you are doing the like receipt it takes forever i forgot to post my video today because i had to run out of the fucking place i'm wondering if i should get breakfast i wonder if i should go to trader joe's yeah i think i should all right i'm gonna get some mangoes oh so the tagalog my accent is absolutely horrendous and i've been talking to like native tagalog speakers and they are just 
making fun of my shit accent. And some of you are like, well, what's the big deal, blah, blah, blah. So the, the reason why your pronunciation in Tagalog has to be good is because if you're not pronouncing the words correctly, same words mean different things. So like, um, for instance, bukas is tomorrow, but bukas is open. So shit like that. It's a bit wild. My accent is just horrendous because it's so bad. Like people don't know what I'm saying. They just can't understand. I mean, not all the time, but there's definitely words that I say that you can't understand. And the other thing is, is when I'm listening to people talk, they talk so fast and all of their words go together that I don't know. Because most of Tagalog is, and this is gonna sound really stupid when I say this, but it's just a series of sounds where it's like a consonant and a vowel, consonant and a vowel, consonant and a vowel. And you have like these really long words like inagigagagalakong. Okay, that's actually two words. That whole word is just a series of um, consonant and vowel, consonant and vowel, consonant and vowel, consonant and vowel. Obviously, there's an E sound at the beginning, so take that for what it's worth. But um, just all of the words are like that. And then there are some letters that make different sounds. So like um, NG, even though that's two letters, that's kind of considered one letter when they're together. So it's like NUNG, and it's like in your throat. And then there's like NGA, NGA. Yeah. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's MGA. Like that's that's the what you use to make something plural. Nga. Nga. And it's not gut, it's nga. Nga. So like there's just little things like that, and that's all based on pronunciation. And if I can't pronounce the words correctly, and I'm like, nga, um, it just like no one knows what the fuck you're saying. So like, uh, what, what's a good example? Um, oh, nga coche. You know, it's like, what, what, like, what the fuck was that? And it's like nga coche is how you would do that. And then like, uh, and for those of you who know Spanish, like there's a lot of uh, Spanish in and out of it. So like, um, Tinidor, Chara, uh, Banyo, uh, Cucina, uh, Plato. Obviously, these are all like kitchen things in a toilet or the bathroom, but like, so just little things like that. Like, um, but there is a lot more than that. Like, uh, I think Sabato is. Saturday, and I think, I'm not 100%, but I think that might be the same in Spanish. And um, when you do the time, so, um, ano oras ito, like oras, it's spelt differently, but like that's based on Spanish. But when you do time, you do it in the Spanish numbers, which is really bizarre to me. Um, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's a, it's a fun language, but my accent is shit. So I really have to work on that. And my pronunciation. My vocabulary is actually really, really good. Like, when I see words, I know what they are. Like, I could probably read Tagalog a lot easier than I can hear it or speak it. Am I supposed 
supposed to be on Cooper?